Okay, so let's solve linear equations that have fractions in them. To do that, we're going to try to get rid of the fractions. We're going to multiply by their common denominator of all of the different terms within the linear equation. So let's notice we have a 3, a 9, and a 2. All of those numbers will divide evenly into 18. So 18 is our least common denominator. Now, there are other denominators that would work. 36, for example, would work. But 18 is the smallest. Okay, so let's multiply by 18. We're going to multiply every single term by 18. I'm just going to do it like that. And 18 times the 1 half. All right, now, let's see if I can use my draw feature here. And what we're going to do, remember from fraction multiplication that we can cross cancel when we're multiplying. So we can cross cancel this 18 with the 3 that's on the bottom because really 18 is over 1. All right, so we can go 3 goes into itself one time and 3 goes into 18 six times. And 9 goes into itself one time and 9 goes into 18 twice. And then over here, 2 goes into itself one time, and 2 goes into 18 nine times. And notice that all of our denominators are now 1, so we can ignore them. So let's see what we've got left. We've got a 6 times a 2 times x, so that's 12x. And let me actually get out of the draw feature back to normal stuff. Oops, maybe not. All right, so 6 times 2 times x will have 12x. I'm sorry, my dog's making noise in the background. And we have a 2 times a 1 right here, so just plain old 2. And then we have a 9 times a 1 over here, so just plain old 9. And notice now we're back to an equation we've solved before. So we've got this plus 2 out to the side. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. Whoops. And uh, make that vanish from our left side. All right, so we get 12x and 9 minus 2 is 7. And then, of course, let's divide out the 12 in order to get our x by itself. So I'll divide both sides by 12, not by 7. So be careful that you're dividing by the number that's in front of x. And we get 7 over 12, which will reduce. All right, now let's look at our second one. So notice here, our denominator is a 7, a 3, and a 2. And the, if we multiply all those together, we get 42, and that just happens to be the smallest common denominator in this case. So let's take it and let's multiply every single term by 42. So I'll have 42 times 2x over 7 minus 42 times 1 third and 42 times 3 halves. All right, now let me use my little draw feature again and cross cancel. So 7 goes into itself one time, and 7 goes into 42 six times. And then 3 goes into itself one time, and 3 goes into 42, looks like 14 times. And 2 goes into itself one time, and 2 goes into 42, 21 times. All right, so let's see what we have left. Let me get out of the draw feature. We have 6 times 2x right here, so that will be 12x. Oops. A minus sign, so be careful not to lose that sign. 14 times 1, it's just going to leave us 14. And then on the right side, two, 21 times 3 will be 63. So now it looks like a normal equation. 
Let's continue solving. That's a minus 14, so let's add 14 to get rid of it. And I'll get 12x equals um, 77. Let's now divide out our 12 that's still with our x. And we will have our answer. Nothing goes into both 77 and 12 other than 1, so 77 twelfths is our answer. 